nothing in life comes for free. We are all very adaptable, we can manage a lot, but it all somehow has its price. I am from Kiev, Ukraine, and in February my life changed forever. And not only for me, but for everyone in the world, and especially the people in my country. Whenever we have something good in our life, often we take that for granted. And peaceful is what I always took for granted. Now I understand how wrong I was about that. I'm a professor of mathematics at EPFE, Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne. I'm a chair of number theory. What we are doing, of course, it's shaping the future, but maybe it will be used in a hundred years from now, but it's still important. What we like about students is that they are young, they are still enthusiastic, they have a lot of energy and they believe in what is ahead of them. I can tell them what my opinion is and a student would say like, no, a professor does not know what, <laughs> what she's talking about. So maybe one advice for PhD students is to, okay, at least give your advice or this privilege of a doubt. And I think this is advice which is good both for professors and for students. I work on geometric optimization problems. So sphere packing, it's a very natural geometric problem. You have a big box and you have an infinite collection of equal balls and you're trying to put as many balls into the box as you can. Legend is that people were interested in is how many cannon balls can they pack into the ship? So the answer for the cannon balls is, as you see in a supermarket, the orange is stuck in this pyramidal shape. So essentially this is the best possible packing. But now we could also go to other dimensions. And maybe here it's a time to explain what are other dimensions. If we are on a plane, we would need only two coordinates to describe every point. And on the line, we need one number. But if we are moving in a three-dimensional space, we need three coordinates to describe every point, like GPS coordinates. But as mathematicians, we can go farther. Nothing stops us for introducing one more coordinate or 24 different coordinates. For many years, people thought about the sphere packing problem and developed many methods how to address it. Either you have to construct some object which is optimal, or you have to show that nothing better can be done. So in each dimension they found some bound. However, in dimensions 8 and 24, the bound came very, very close to the actual density of uh, known packings. E8 packing in dimension 8 and bleach lattice in dimension 24. So they realized there exists this magic function which is supposed to actually prove the optimality of packing. My contribution was to give an explicit formula for the magic function. And this is what took from 2003 to 2016, like 13 years to find. My parents and my two sisters normally live in Kiev. So when the war started, I could not think about anything else, including mathematics. During those first days, I realized how much I love teaching, because on the very first day, I had my first class here in the PFL. Of course, when I'm in front of class, I have to forget about everything else, because I have to be very focused. This made me to forget about this fear and pain inside myself. Recently, I dedicated a lecture to Yulia Zdanowska, a young mathematician and computer scientist from Kharkiv. My teachers from Kyiv University were also her teachers. Uh, Julia was a person filled with light. And her big dream was teaching mathematics to kids in Ukraine. During the first days of war, she was killed in a missile attack on Kharkiv. When young people die, you will think, okay, so what's the point of my work as teacher if young, talented people are just wasted in this terrible war? When someone like her dies, it's like the future dies. Right now, Ukrainians are really paying the highest price for our beliefs and for our freedom. I'm very happy that 
my sisters Tanya and Natasha evacuated from Kiev and are staying with my family as the war continues. Tanya has to separate with her husband and I know it is extremely difficult for her. My niece and my nephew miss their dad a lot. They understand what is happening now and in Ukraine and it is a lot to process for them. My husband Daniel is a physicist at EPFL. Daniel has a passion for photography. Thanks to his pictures, we have a wonderful way to remember important and happy moments of our lives. The thing I like about Kyiv the most are the green parks and quiet places and the Asian churches. I understand that now there will be marks of war there, and this is a scary thought. But Kyiv is one of the eternal cities. One day soon, I hope to return.